Thanks for coming for today's webinar. Uh, how are you? Uh, if you can, please uh, uh, let me know that you can hear me, you can see me, that you uh, you feel good today and you, you are waiting for the webinar. Uh, today we want to show you the presentation of our new uh, version of the keypads in TSH version 2 and in TSG version 2. Um, you can ask the question, you can uh, tell what do you think about the keypads on chat. Today with me on chat is Krzysztof. Krzysztof will answer for your question. My name is Lukas. I'm working in technical department and today I will show you uh, this presentation of the devices. Okay. Hello everyone. I, I see the bird from Łódź. Perfect. I see the uh, people from Czech Republic, Finland. Very, very good. Uh, hi again. So today presentation, uh, we can say that it will be in two different parts. The first part, we uh, during the first part, which will start for a few seconds, I will show you the movie with the pre uh, movie presentation of our device with uh, with, uh, uh, with with our colleague, which is speech and and described all of these functions. Uh, so I think it will be interested for you, and it will takes about uh, fifteen minutes. After that 15 minutes movie, I will show you just a few things, uh, how to make the configuration of this keypad, what this keypad can do, how, how uh, user interference uh, works and uh, all of these things. So I don't want to show you a lot of technical data about that. I think it, it, if it will be interest for you, we'll cre uh, I think we'll prepare some additional movies about that and additional webinars to show you the technical information today will be more commercial uh, but i think the it, there will be a lot of knowledge also for technician so i think we can start and i will show you the movie right now Hi there, my name is Marce Domagalski and I am a SATEL Training Specialist. Today's webinar is devoted to our latest INT TSH2 and INT TSG2 touchscreen keypads. In the first part of this meeting, I will present their functionality. In the second, we will talk about programming the interface. You may associate the previous models of these devices, INT TSH and INT TSG. The new version of the keypads is a number of improvements, developments and completely new functions that I will present to you in a moment. OK, here they are, our new devices. The TSH2 model is a keypad with a 7-inch display. The TSG2 model has a 4.3-inch display. Let's dive into their new features. As you can see, the interface has a completely new look and was restyled from scratch to match the current trends in technology. Navigation through the extensive menu has also been completely redesigned, but I'll tell you about it later. All these changes were possible thanks to this new generation processor, which ensures the operating system runs smoothly. As I mentioned, both models are available in two colours and are, as always, equipped with a glass panel that protects the display from scratching. The capacitive screen, unlike the resistive one, does not require to use any pressure. A gentle tap is just enough. 
let's explore how this works in the animation. Compared to the previous models, the new devices feature a more powerful processor. In the case of TSG2, it means it's four times faster than its predecessor. And when it comes to the TSH2, the difference is almost three times faster. The new screen displays more than 16 million colors, which is more than our eyes can distinguish. Previous models could only display 65,000 colors. The keypads feature a micro SD card slot. These cards can contain photos, screen wallpapers, sounds, and most importantly, files with new firmware. Updating is done similarly in previous models. The TSH2 and TSG2 keypads are compatible with the entire family of the Integra and Versa alarm control panels. Just like in all of our Integra compatible keypads, these two also feature two additional zones, provided of course they are connected to an Integra control panel. Both models allow you to conveniently control alarm systems alongside automation functions. Installer can prepare, for example, a sitemap and using a micro SD card, upload it to the devices. Then you can mark the connected devices on the map to make the everyday system control for your clients much easier. Take a look at this example of an already configured scenario, in this case, the leaving home macro. As I mentioned at the beginning, the interface appearance has been completely changed. We have prepared for you more than 20 preset themes, differing in the colour of fonts, elements, background and screen wallpapers. Here are some examples. You can also customise themes, creating a new one for your client. This is done with the Deload X program. Let's see how customizing actually looks in practice. Another new feature is Swipe Gestures support. Navigating through different screens is done by tapping and scrolling the screens left and right, or up and down. To make the overall navigation easier for clients, we divided the menu into three levels, each containing different functions. The upper level features the screensaver. It can be set to display our default clock or act as a photo frame. On the middle level, we can find the main screen with different icons displayed, responsible for alarming the system. Three icons to quickly call for help. And in the information icon here, for example, you can enter the contact details, so your client can quickly give you a call when in need. The middle level can consist of up to 24 screens, giving users access to all the system functions. The lower level gestures the control panel setting menu and the service menu. All right, let's start with the upper level. The screensaver is displayed in three cases. When we scroll down the user screen, we can scroll the slideshow to the right, or when 60 seconds pass from the last operation on the screen. Take a look on what can be displayed based on the system functions.
The next element of the upper level is the photo frame. Here you can upload whatever photos your clients ask you to. It can be a single photo or an entire slideshow on a loop. Let me add that thanks to the mentioned display with 16 million colors, the overall quality of the photos is really high. The devices support bitmaps or popular JPEGs. Now let us move on to the most extensive level, the middle one. We can access it in two different ways. What's on the screen? Well, first of all, it features a status bar where you can also add and display a screen title. Second, widgets. And third, system status indicators. Let's take a closer look. The middle level can also contain the scenarios you all well know, that is, sequences of different alarms and automation functions. Let me emphasize here that the new models also support the macro functions when connected to the Versa control panels, something that the previous models did not feature. The macro widgets can arm and disarm the system, clear alarms, block and unblock zones, activate, deactivate and change status of outputs, and shorten the exit delay time. The macro functions can also implement the KNX telegrams, but only when connected with the Integra and Integra Plus control panels. A very useful feature is the Link widget. To put it simply, it serves as a shortcut that momentarily sends users to any selected user screen. Thanks to this, users don't have to browse through the entire menu on this level. You can also block access to the screens. To access them, users have to re-enter their authorization password. Let's see how the already configured middle level menu with multiple user screens can look like. Moving on to the bottom level. 
We can also access this level in two ways. Now let's see how the control panel settings menu looks on the bottom level and what we can do there. You can also individually set the screen brightness, depending on the current time of day. Notification volume can too be set for different event types. The TSH2 models has a built-in speaker, while the TSG2 features a buzzer. Changing the settings looks like this. Let us take a look at the service menu now. Our next stop is timers, partition timers and thermostats. You can easily edit the timers from the menu. The keyboard is always displayed on a different random place on the screen. This is a security measure, so no one can figure out user codes from left fingerprints. Both keypad models are compliant with the standards of Grade 3 alarm systems, which impose a number of requirements on producers that their devices must meet. One of said requirements is the double tamper protection, both against unauthorized opening of keypad enclosure and against tearing it off its mounting surface. Both our models feature these mechanisms. Let's take a last look at our touchscreen keypads, available in two colours, black and white. Now we will move on to the next part of our meeting. Okay guys, I, I hope that you enjoyed that video and there was a lot of uh, knowledge about the, the new keypad. Uh, I want to inform you because when uh, when we make previous webinars for Polish installers and, and distribution, uh, they have asked a lot of, uh, is this keypad, is the replacement for the old TSG and TSH or maybe for TSI? So at the beginning of the, this part, I want to inform you that this is the new version of TSH and TSG. So still, you don't have an internet socket inside the keypad, you don't have the cameras, 
intercoms and things like that here. Okay? Okay. So, uh, uh, if we have the keypad, uh, which is the new version of TSG and TSH, you saw uh, some feature, how it, how it looks like. Uh, I will show you the keypad uh, one more time to show you uh, the, the menu of the user and menu of the service, uh, of the service mode. Uh, more precisely, maybe we can go deeper and deeper. So, just give me one second. I will change the camera right now. Okay, so we have a, a TSH keypad. Uh, as you saw before, we can cre configure the screen uh, screen saver as you want. So you can add here uh, the icons, but you have to remember that it's only a, an indicator. So you cannot create a macro command on, on the status screen. Here you have only the the icon, which is the uh, indicator. So you can see that, for example, garage gate or driveway is opened or some detectors are violated. If you will go uh, in right side from the screen saver, you can start, you, you can show some pictures on the screen. So you have a, a wallpaper uh, with uh, some pictures. If you have, if you have more than one picture, then you have a photo frame and the photos will change all the time. Okay, so you have decide which screen saver you are using. The standard one, which you will create, or the, the, the screen with the pictures. Okay, if we want to go, to, if we uh, want to use the keypad, we want to go for the uh, first level of the menu, we can go down or just press uh, anywhere on the screen. Okay, as I told you, there is no macro command, it's an icon, so we can go deeper to the first uh, screen, you during the configuration for a while. I will show you at the Dilodix. You can decide which uh, which view is the first view, which one is the main view. So if we are going from the screen saver, in our case, always we are uh, turning on the first screen where where you can arm disarm the system. You can make some alarms like panic alarm, fire, medical alarm, or we have an information. So you can just press on the information and you can see some uh, some nodes which which you as an installer can create there. So for example, the uh, data contact to, to you as an installer, so in, uh, the, the end user will always know where he has to call back in case of some problem with the system. Okay, we have some other, uh, there is a, I think, a lot of possibility how you can create the screen. So, for example, you can add the, the uh, controlling things like lights, roller shutters, heating, sprinkles, etc. I will open the lights, and from the lights, we are going to another. Uh, we are going to uh, another view. So, uh, let's go back. We have a uh, eight user views here, maximum eight user views here, and we have additional uh, additional views, additional screens, which you can create up to 16 additional screens. And if, for example, I will press the lights button here, I'm going to uh, additional screen, uh, you can create up to 16 additional screens. And for example, from this screen, I can just easily turn on, turn off some lights, some uh, Depends of the of the things which you have connected to the uh, outputs of Integra, or maybe you are uh, you you will send some uh, KNX telegrams uh, from here. Okay, for example, roller shutters. You can make it uh, in that way, so you can uh, control all roller shutters or all of them separately. Depends of your system configuration. Let's go to the heating, for example something similar like heating and cooling on one tab. Okay. Let's open, let's go to the next uh, screen. So for example, you can also create a screen like here. So you have a co controlling separate rooms. For example, I will go to the garden and then you can see the screen of your garden. From here, you can control the lights on, on your building, some sprinkles in, in your garden the lights in garden. Also, you can see the temperature from the 
ABUX detectors, uh, but you have to remember that uh, uh, only Integra and Integra, Integra Plus is working with a temperature sensor. So, okay, uh, about breast, I will talk for a while. And another view, for example, again, you can create some view with uh, your data to the uh, to the installer company, uh, for example, with some information uh, with the time for the next maintenance, things like that. Uh, okay, so here we have uh, up to eight screens and up to 16 additional screens. And I want to tell you that with Versa panel, you can make the same thing. So using TSA, TSH2 or TSG2, you can uh, create a macro commands also with Versa panel. Uh, uh, limitation of the macro commands in total, you can create up to, in total, you can create 64 macro commands. So I think it's, it's enough to, to control all of the scenes or all of the scenarios like exit the home, enter the home, uh, arm this, <clears throat> arm the system we, uh, and uh, control the roller shutter and the lights in the same time. Uh, I, I think 64 macros, it's, it's enough to, to make some, uh, for sure it's enough for, for Versa with Integra panel. Also, you can make a lot of quite nice scenarios. Okay. If we will go one, uh, deeper, we have a, a, we have a screen where you have to log in. Depends of the code which you will use. Uh, I'm going to use the administrator code. So, uh, you can see the many of the user. For sure, you, you remember how it was, uh, how it, it looks like in the uh, previous keypad or in the standard keypad. You have just a terminal. And from the view on the terminal, you can uh, access, for example, to the uh, partition state. Here you can see uh, the partition state with the icons. You don't have to use the, the standard terminals. Come on. Okay, you can change the size of, of, of the of the icons, so you can uh, make it small or, or bigger. You can make a list with the names of the partition or without it, just with the numbers. Okay, go back. Uh, the same we have with, with the zones, with the outputs. Uh, okay, like here we can see all of the all of the outputs. Also, we can control and outputs from uh, the list here. Uh, what else we have here? We have, uh, of course, the troubles. So also maybe it's not uh, quite good visible because of the uh, of the wallpaper which I have here. Uh, for a while, we can change the wallpaper too. But here you have a list of all of the trouble in the system, so it's easy to, to verify what's going on in the system. The same with events. From here, you can create the user, which is, uh, which is very easy to, to, to create or edit new user. Also, you can see some, some uh, information like here so that the user uh, doesn't change the code. So still he's using the code which installer create. You have an access to the tests, so you can uh, check the module version from here. Uh, in some places, for example, like module version, we decide to show it on the screen of the standard LCD. So uh, we have, uh, if you want to check the modules version, you have easy view with the keypad name, we ha you have the, the version and using arrows, you can check the version of all connected modules. Um, also from here, you can verify the, for example, the IP address of the ATHM. Uh, you can verify the MAC address. You can verify the, uh, the email number. So all of these things also available from the, uh, from the keypad. Okay, we have some additional settings. Uh, I think a, a very interesting thing uh, here is the option to set the timers. So uh, you can see that all of the timers which are at the table in the system, uh, you can access to the timer you have every day. So we have just one list with all of an option which you can set for the timer. And then you can set from time to time, the timer is active and not active. 
Uh, similar thing with the firmostat, so also easiest way to, to configure the firmostat if you are if you have the Integra Plus with firmostat output, you can set the temperature for the uh, 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 for the each threshold. Okay, uh, we have here also an option for the for the configure the keypad. So if you you open the keypad settings, you you can uh, set the option for the screen cleaning. So then uh, touch screen is blocked, and you you can uh, clean your screen. You can film uh, make a firmware update. Uh, to make a firmware update on the SD card, the, uh, it's mandatory to add the firmware on the SD card. After that, you can. Uh, choose an option to update the firmware from the user's menu or you can just format the SD card completely so uh, clear all the sounds all the all the pictures and things like that also you can change the sounds here so you can change the sound for the chime for the uh, for the uh, for the uh, touch uh, using plus and minus or just pressing somewhere and then keypad will show you what percentage is it Okay, and similar thing with the uh, with the brightness. You can also change the brightness for the day mode and for uh, also for the night mode. So uh, in this configuration, you can set that uh, from uh, from six a.m. the day uh, the day mode started. So uh, you will use this uh, this level of brightness, and uh, from uh, ten p.m. it will change for the another brightness levels. Okay, now I want to show you the uh, configuration of service mode because it's very interesting for sure for the administrator, uh, for the uh, installers. Uh, so, we have, uh, there is an icon of the, of the guy, uh, which means that user is logged or not. Uh, we can go access to the menu or log out using this option. Now, I log out and I will use the service code to get an access to the service mode. The service mode looks similar here because it's the user menu. We are going to the other option. For example, if you want to connect with the computer, we have a downloading, which is just start downloading or finish downloading. You have to press on that and downloading it started. So I think in this configuration of the user menu and service menu, as you can see right now, it's easiest to do something. It's easiest to do something because you you have you can see all of the all of the service menu in the same time. So for example, if you are looking for the output configuration, you have to go to outputs. In the same time, you will see all of these things like uh, details, parameter, test, and, and the names. Let's go to the details. And you have seen all of the outputs which are in the system. So you can choose one of them. For example, output 22, which is red na name red. You can go to the functions, polarization, pulsing. All of these things is visible uh, immediately. And then using the simple terminal, you can change the type of an output. So in my opinion, the, the configuration uh, of the system from the service mode, from the keypad, will be much more easier than before. Before, you have to get some exper experience with the, with the Integra panel to make some configuration from the, uh, from the uh, keypad. Right now, I think even the, the new installers uh, uh, can, can make it easier. Mm, okay, uh, I think right now we, 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 we can go to the uh, configuration of, uh, of the Dlodex. I will show you uh, I, I, will, I will show you how to configure uh, the screens uh, at the um, at the keypads okay and the service mode here. Yes okay. Okay, now you should see my sc uh, view of my screens. You should see the Delodex. Uh, 
Okay, so at the, the Lodex, at the keypads, uh, at the system structure and hardware, you, you will find the keypads, and there you will find the new uh, panel, which is TSH2 or TSG2. TSH2 uh, ha have just two tabs. The keypad, so the standard configuration of the keypad, where you can uh, set uh, which partition will be managed from the keypad, the alarms, so which partitions you will get an alarms, time configuration, uh, do you want to use the zone or not? So just a standard uh, configuration uh, and the keypad data. So here you have much more options than the previous the previous keypad. Uh, first up is a tab with the macro commands. Uh, as I told you before, you can create up to 64 macro commands. How to do that? Similar uh, way how you are creating the macro commands for the mobile application or for for the all mm, the uh, keypads like T TSG and TSH in f first generation. So we can set the name test webinar. Okay, you can set the code for for the for the macro command and also. You can choose the state of uh, of, the, of an icon. So without the state indicator, so the icon will not change. You have just one type of an icon, uh, and that's all. Or you can set that the state will uh, is uh, follow input or follow output. So the icon will change depends of the, for example, zone status. Let's say that when the zone one will be uh, violated, you have an icon like that, uh, like football pitch. If there, there is a, um, it's, um, zone is not violated, you have some other icon like like telephone, doesn't matter. The same you can make to, set, to, to follow output. So it depends that, that output is activated or not, you have uh, two different uh, icons. In icons, you have a quite big, uh, Mm, quite big options to, to choose an icon. We create a, a lot of them. Um, so we, so we also it will be quite nice to create a project uh, for, for, the, for the customer. Okay. N next thing you have to create the command list. So from the commands, the same like in previous version. So with the commands, we change, uh, we, we, uh, we do not change anything. So you have arming, disarming, some controlling and outputs or send the Kinex telegrams. Let's, for example, choose the change output state, output number. Uh, I'm looking for some B switch. Okay, 23. When you create the, the comment, you can add it. You can add uh, another thing uh, to the, um, to the uh, to, to macro command list. So for example, this macro test webinar will uh, change the output uh, state of output number 23 and disarm first partition. Okay, when you, you when you will create all of the macros, you can uh, write it to the panel using the, the button right at the bottom of the screen. There you have also the, the read button to read the configuration from the, uh, from the panel. You can uh, quit configuration, you can reset to factory settings, uh, you can export your configuration to the to the file, and for example, you can export it to the file, and also you can import uh, that uh, from another keypad, the configuration from another keypad. So it also it's uh, quite nice when you're uh, when you're going to uh, make uh, to use more than one keypad in the object, or for example, you will create some. Uh, project which you are going to uh, let's say install to each of your customer. Okay, we have a tab screen which is completely new for this keypad because in previous version uh, th there was no option to create the screens like here. You have a theme which you can set. So we create a um, 24 uh, themes and tw uh, and the, the last one, which is custom, so you can cre create your own theme. I think everyone will find something for, for him. Uh, 
so you can try to do something with, with that. If you will choose the the, uh, the new theme which we which we like, you have to set select, and then theme is changed. And also, if you will change the the theme, for, now we are using the college. You can uh, you have all of the information uh, which is used, so the background, font icon for uh, icon colors, etc. But also you can make your uh, own custom theme, okay? So then you can change, for example, the uh, color of an icon and of the fonts. Also, you can change the color of a, uh, of a background. Let's say something. Okay, for example, this one. Also, you can uh, change the icon of the fonts which are uh, pressed, or you can add some icons so you can use your theme without any image or with one of the image which is created by by subtle or you can use some uh, some photo which you create before okay so now we have a theme uh, where we can uh, our favorite picture for example okay let me choose something prepared by subtle Okay, we have, we cre we create the the theme. So the next step is a screen save saver. So here you have to decide what you want to see uh, on the on, on the screen saver. Uh, as you saw on the on the movie before, you can add the text. Okay, so just uh, just a name like driveway or garage here. Uh, you have a partition state, and so it's just an icon. So as you uh, saw before, here we can add only the icons. So here you cannot add some macro commands, only the icons, uh, only the indicators, date and time, and the rectangle. With the rectangle, you can use the transparency. So you can ch choose the color of the rectangle and you can set the transparency for, for that to make it um, prettiest, let's say. Also for the screensaver, you can decide that you want to use the theme or you can just change something here. You, you, you want to uh, change something uh, and cu customize something. Okay. We have a system status. So it's the, the first screen which we can uh, create right now. So you can change the, uh, the name of a screen. Uh, I told you before when I show you the, um, the um, how how to move uh, around the, the uh, keypad. I told you that uh, you can decide which tab is a home screen. So here we can set that it's a home screen. Uh, uh, webinar will be home screen. So it means that every time after uh, um, after you are going to the middle level of the screens, always you will open this uh, this tab so another screens uh, you, you have to move uh, right and left to, to go there and you are deciding which one is a home screen you can set that home screen is available after logging in so not the home screen that, that the screen is available after logging in so if you will go there on that screen you want to do something you have to enter the code first the same here, you can conf you can uh, change everything. So I mean the the fonts, the the, uh, the icon colors, and things like that. You can, if you are creating some uh, options for the controlling, you can uh, use the grid. So it will be easier to make some uh, icons. Like for example, partition states will be there, oh, and all of the partition states will be in the first. Uh, mm, first square for example you can create you can uh, you can take the macro so i decide to choose a macro then you from the list you have to choose which macro you will uh, you will assign to that to that icon so we can assign the the macro test webinar which we create before with option is authorization is required or disable if arming without confirm message and hold down. So you have press for three seconds on that macro command to turn it on. So option which are similar to the to the previous version. Uh, 
And also, uh, 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 as in uh, other screens, you can change the, the colors for the, for the icons for active and not active. So we are giving you an option to configure almost everything here. Uh, so, as you can see, the, the configuration of the screens is similar to configuration and uh, the, the previous TSH and TS, uh, TSG. So, everyone who, who makes the, uh, the screen on the TSG or TSH in first version, uh, for sure, will be... For, for sure, for him, will be easy to configure the, the new things. Uh, additional... Uh, very, very nice option. It's a link option. Link option, it means that you can cre create an icon, icon uh, which will, um, which is linked with the additional screen. I told you that you can create eight screens and additional 16 screens. So, for example, if you will press on that icon, you can uh, you can go to another screen, which is, for example, heating, or you can create the new additional screen. Okay, so the new additional screen we have here. The configuration additional screens is the same like uh, like standard screens. Okay. We have some additional screen here. We can go back to our screen, which we are creating already. This one, this macro, I will delete. Okay. Okay. Here we have, and we, we we have to link that icon with the additional screen, and that's all. If you will uh, open the screen webinar, which is our home screen, you can press on that uh, icon, and it, and it will uh, uh, open the additional screen which uh, which we created before. Uh, so, but you have to remember that additional, if you are creating the additional screens like we have here, uh, so controlling the, the lamps, uh, controlling the uh, watering in the system, some garage gate, the, the heating options, cooling options, and things like that, you have to remember that to the additional screen, uh, additional screen you can open only using the button, which is link. So there is no option, like if you will forget to create the button to go to the additional screen, there is no option to open it. So only one way to open the additional screen is using the uh, button here, which is link. Okay, after you will uh, finish to do all of these things, the configuration of the screens, you have to press on the right button, you will store it to the uh, to the to your keypad and that's all so you don't have to use the SD card to change that uh, to save it uh, to the keypad you can uh, send it via keypad bus so like in the previous version but also here we have the option to open the micro SD cards to see what you have on the SD card so if you will take the SD card you will install it to your computer you can add the images which you will use for as a background, backgrounds of, on uh, at the screens at, and also at the additional screens. Also here, you can add the pictures which you will use for the slideshow on the save screen. Uh, and also here, uh, and also here, you have an option to the sound, which is available only at the TSH. TSG doesn't have an option with the sound, so only TSH uh, has the sounds option. And it's very nice uh, thing because you can change the chime sounds uh, for the depends of the zone. So, for example, we have zone number one where I assign the uh, assign the, the 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 sound. Like I, I don't know, you can hear it or not. Uh, I will try to play it. Okay, it says uh, welcome home uh, in Polish. For the second uh, um, sound, we have something like that. And some another uh, sound. So you can add uh, uh, a lot of different sounds here, which you can assign to the different zones. 
uh, and thanks to that uh, you can um, thanks to that you can you um, you can uh, hear which zone is violated. So, for example, you can create the sound like garage is open, entry door is open, welcome home, um, and few an alarm. So, for example, if every time, you, uh, for example, you will violate the uh, flute uh, de uh, detector, you can make an alarm, but also you can start chime uh, with some message like, alarm from fl uh, flute detector okay but you have to remember that it's a chime so it's not a, a sound for the alarm it's a, it's a sound for the chime but using some different combination of integra you can use it in a a, a lot of different things Uh, okay, shortly I will show you here also the TS, uh, TSG, TSG2. So the difference between them are the size, of course. One has 7 inches, the second one has 4.3 inch. Uh, the TSG doesn't has a, a sounds for chime. Uh, the rest of options are similar here. So also we have option to make some macro commands here, some additional screens and things like that. So uh still tsg is quite nice option for the places where you don't have enough place to install seven inch keypad okay Okay, guys, so uh, I see that Krzysztof answered for a lot of your questions, and, but he, he answered for all of the questions which you, which you asked, so, so very nice. I hope that uh, this webinar was interested for you. Mm, maybe a short question to Krzysztof. Krzysztof, do we have some uh, question which I has, have to answer? Uh, in public or everything is uh, solved already? Okay, I think everything is solved. So uh, thank you very much for your time. I hope that the webinar was uh, interesting for you and uh, you, you will try to play with the new TSG and TSH. Uh, see you at our next webinar. Uh, visit our YouTube channel. Uh, also there we we are going to show more information about the new keypads and new products. Mm. One more time, thank you for your time and have a nice day. Bye-bye.